Speaking of community, I just have our special guests are walking in the door right now. This is the gay. The gay are here. Fantastic. For the next hour on the CRTR Fun Drive show. Um, okay, so let's, guys, have a seat. Have a seat. Um, we, we're joined here by Coco, Keith, and Sarah. Hello. Hello. Oh, this is live, oh, live radio. Wow. Good timing, guys. I just got through <laughs> my obligatory Australian music and I'm putting that aside um, because we were just talking about community what this station does to create community in the independent music world. And I have three very long-standing members of this city's independent music world, and it's an honour and treat to have you here. Thank you very much. That was Coco. Mm -hmm. Sarah. Sarah. I'm Keith. Hello. Keith. Thank you. Hello. Thanks for reaching across the board, <laughs> shaking my hand. Um, wow, this is really exciting. So uh, a bit of context. Um, so... Mint Records, for listeners, and don't forget, people are listening all around the world, guys, hopefully in Australia, I've got a lot of listeners there, they may not know about the rich heritage in this city of independent music, and as a newcomer, I've found Mint Records a great entry point into what's happened here since the early 90s. Uh, Mint Record is a, a record label uh, which formed in 1991 by Randy Iwata and Bill Baker, uh, who were actually... Uh, employees here at the station years ago and they decided to put their heads together for my independent uh, record label and it now has over 130 releases uh, currently of course the Pack AD, Calarissa, Hot Panda, all these cool bands we've all seen live but way back at the beginning was the gay. <laughs> well not we're, quite well, in the beginning. Of, we're actually <laughs> yeah. fourth, fifth generation okay. mid band I think you know. They, we, we were, we're, we're old don't get us now. wrong. Yeah yeah an apex. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. The pinnacle of uh, Mint Records was the gay release. The gay release. Mm -hmm. and, and the biggest seller, too. Yeah, I, th I, know, I think we outsold uh, the Butless Chaps and Windwalker. <laughs> and the Wireless Rancheros. No, the Wireless Rancheros, they were popular. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about, um, um, love them all. Love them. What, what was it, Do a Tang? Oh, Duotang! <laughs> Let's not talk about Duotang. No. Well, you certainly spread your love across the country because I put on Facebook today that I was doing the show and a f random friend in Edmonton said, oh, that was the best band ever. So there you go. You know, oh, that's obviously. great. Wow. We were very drunk in Edmonton on several times, so <laughs> there's probably some... Uh, uh, <laughs> Charla? <laughs> Uh, okay, so we're back here on Stranded, the Australian Canadian Music Show, with the Fun Drive special, and it's extra fun in here. It's gay, really, because we're with the gay uh, Vancouver band um, from the Mint Records catalogue, uh, and they've reformed for the Mint Records 20th anniversary. Um, so we're going to be chatting to them soon again. Uh, 604 822 8648 if you'd like to donate. Um, today's all about history. I love history. Um, I love learning about, you know, bands that have been before. CITR has been on air for 25 years, since 1982, um, and became FM in 1982, broadcasting on 101.9, and Discorder was born in 1983, and that's a great free magazine you see around town that lists uh, gigs and you know, book reviews, CD reviews. And online now, CITR has been streaming since 2006, so a lot of... Uh, avenues for you to access independent uh, culture. Keep us on air for another 25 years, 604-822-8648. Um, don't forget, uh, $30 or more gets you the uh, CITR Friends card, $60 gets you the record bag uh, with the card, and don't forget that Australian Music CD, you've got um, anyone over $20 gets a Bliss and Esso, Flying Colours, Warning Moderate Impact Course Language and or Themes. Um, Aussie hip hop. There you go. Um, I know I play too much rock and roll on the show, but um, yeah. Anyway, hip hop's good. But so it's good pop music, and the Gay is such a cool pop band. Like, guys, thanks so much for coming. Um, so I'm joined by Sarah, Coco, and Keith from the Gay. Hello again. Um, so now the Gay formed um, uh, some time ago in 2001. Correct. Yep. Yep. Coco mm -hmm. is uh, going to fill us in on how it all came about. I had just finished uh, playing, I sort of retired um, and hung up my session player uh, badge and decided that I wanted to do something fun that I liked. And um, 
had somewhat stalked the other members unbeknownst to them and had decided to just cold call them to try and put together a band that, in my, in my mind at the time, I wanted to do something sort of ABBA-ish, um, very vocally based and weird, because that's all I know. So um, I uh, cold called, I think, Sarah, you might have been one of the first people, Sarah, because Sarah and I could sort of had loose connections through uh, mutual friends and other musicians. and. Um, I didn't know Keith at all, but I heard he was desperate to be in a band. <laughs> 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 or just desperate. So I phoned Keith. After, yeah, I, I re thanks to Mark Kleiner of yeah, that's Jungle, right. who were reuniting the same show. Mm -hmm. I had lunch with Mark, who told me Coco was looking for a drummer, and I had become too busy with silly work-related music business things to be in a band uh, the last couple of years before then and he said you really need to be playing it makes you a better person and I agreed and he told Coco who called me that night and uh, I had just seen Toby play in Mao and I was always um, mesmerized by all the arms and legs that she came with um, <clears throat> so definitely I called her and then Maya I think it was I don't know if I'd seen I Mutter Accordion or had just been admiring her from across the room all these years but I cold called her we got together in a room and um, it was absolute magic. We had a mad love affair, the five of us. Spent every minute together for like four relationship-destroying months. <laughs> I think that none of us came out the other end with a boyfriend or girlfriend because we were absolutely debaucherous. Sick. And, and that is doc well documented in the brand new book, Fresh at 20, mm -hmm. the Mint history, oral history of Mint Records. Coco speaks exactly of that mm -hmm. and sounds like an interesting, tumultuous time that gave birth to magic. This album is just beautiful. Like, Thank you. Um, mm. you know, we were all madly in love, like, quite frankly. And very platonic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <and laughs> That's not completely yeah. true, but... It, 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 I mean, it, it was the cult, cult of the gay more than, more than we were a band. We got together and had fun hanging out and doing things together. Yeah. I we think priority squash, one, and then being... The hot tub. Yeah, I was the chubby guy with the three super skinny girls... <laughs> Uh, with a bunch of 80-year-olds all around look, looking at us, s sweating. Mostly yeah. looking at me, I think. <laughs> yeah. I don't recall uh, ever going to play squash. That's why I said, <laughs> that's why I said three. three. Right. Sorry, Sarah. Sarah, Sarah Lapsley has always been puritanical. Too puritanical she was puritanical to join in any of the debauches. She remained unscathed. Yeah, she observed. Re relatively. <laughs> and, then, and is now doing her masters. Well, actually, <laughs> we, Sarah has her own stories. Lady. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, Sarah, how did you um, come to, to join the band? Because you'd been in Crevice before, a harder-edged female-powered rock band. Mm. Vancouver Nights. Um, yeah, Crevice was way back in the early 90s. Yeah. And then Vancouver Nights I sort of did around the late 90s. But uh, we sort of, I just kind of completely fell apart in 2001. <laughs> Uh, I found, <laughs> which I found incredibly attractive. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I was off uh, out of commission for a while. So I don't recall the gay starting till early 2002, but possibly I think you had just sort of um, started hanging out again, and I immediately demanded that you joined us. Mm -hmm. And it was a really good time for it to come along. I I was kind of lonely and uh, still recovering, um, so it was good to have fun and be involved in music again. Mm. Yeah, we had lots of fun. Well, I'd love to play a track called Fish and Jim, which features the lovely Sarah on vocals. Uh, and Keith actually gave me a, a better copy here. Like it's, uh, I, I just think like, the version on this EP is better than the album version. I, I agree, can, yeah. 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 It, it came out of it's, 7 It's Kurt Dahl's too. fault because <laughs> he has nothing to do with this version you're about to hear. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well... <laughs> We're, we're going to play Fish and Jim. <laughs> totally kidding. I love you, Kurt. Um, so Fish Mostly. And, Fish and Jim is the last track. On, is, it the, is it the last track? First, last track on that, probably first track on the EP. Yeah, uh, of the gay You Know the Rules on Mint Records, <coughs> uh, uh, a classic album on the Mint ro uh, roster. And, of course, I'm, t I'm speaking with the band here. Uh, for the special fun drive show here at the station, 604-822-8648, uh, for you to call in and donate. And uh, uh, I wonder if, Sarah, would you be able to reach over to those wonderful books? Um, I'm throwing in a bonus. These books just jumped out at me. This is gold. So we have some bonus prizes here. We have a collection of books sitting in the corner here, and I was going through to work out what I could give away with the gay. 
twenty dollars or more, you gave a free books. We have the astrology of great gay sex. Fantastic! <laughs> I've read it. It's fantastic. It is, along with a more serious um, feminist critique uh, book, British Columbia Reconsidered: Essays on Women. And I thought this was apt because you're uh, Sarah and Coco, are very empowered uh, female musicians. So this is a great pack. Gay, gay sex, the astrology of great gay sex, the gay, the band, <laughs> and essays on women in British Columbia reconsidered. $20 or more, you get these books for free. Of course, uh, Friends of CITR card, uh, you get that for $30 pledge. And $60 gets you a Friends card with the record bag. Um, we'll, be, we'll be back with the gay. Let's play Fish and Jim, which was Sarah's composition. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, beautiful. Um, Sarah's an extraordinary um, pop singer. Uh, let's, let's play the song. We'll be back. We're back here on CITR 101.9. Uh, and, of course, that Friends of CITR card, you can get that by donating $30 today. Let's do it. Um, CITR, uh, what an awesome, awesome radio station. Uh, they do a lot of training and education here. So uh, CITR provides students and community members with technical production and programming training. And I personally have benefited because it's very empowering to do a radio show. And uh, it's, yeah, it's cool. Anyone can do it. Um, uh, broadcast training can cost a lot, you know. Um, and uh, CITR helps launch careers. Of course, Nardwa, the human serviette, um, one of the greatest human beings. Uh, he gave me a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, he lent me a vinyl record from Australia Music and wonderful man. Um, and our, our alumni have gone on to work for CBC, Globe and Mail, all sorts of places. So this is a hotbed of talent. Um, help CRTR provide students and community members with broadcast training by donating money. Uh, $30 gives you that Friends of CRTR card. Uh, don't forget, if you want the book bonus, if you donate $20 at least, you'll get these books. <clears throat> the Astrology of Gay Sex, because we're here with the gay. What Sarah, does it say on the back? Uh, it's raining men. It's raining. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> the ultimate guide to finding Mr. Right and avoiding Mr. Wrong. Uh, <laughs> Wait, maybe I haven't read that. <laughs> <laughs> the gay, I, I thought if we had time, we could have the gay talk about relationship advice. Using this book, we could have, you know, maybe another time. Uh, the last people that uh, we asked. <laughs> uh, I am joined by the gay. So, yeah, so if you donate $20 or more, you'll get these books. Uh, the Astrology of Great Gay Sex and um, a book called uh, Brit British Columbia Reconsidered Essays on Women, uh, great solid uh, feminist critique. Um, so good balance for your brain here. Um, and uh, you can bliss out to the gay's music uh, of two if you go to the Mint Records party uh, at the Waldorf next Friday night. Yep. To mm -hmm. celebrate. We'll be there. Yep. Um, but in the meantime, 604-822-8648 to donate. Uh, we'll talk more about the gay party soon, but let's go back in time. Um, Keith, uh, Superconductor, that was a project of yours. Um, I was one of nine uh, long-haired young men, uh, and then one Mexican short-haired man, Scott the gubbler gubbles. Um, yeah, I think uh, time-wise, what are we talking, 1991, 90, 90? Yeah. Uh, I think, yeah, just grew out of uh, a bunch of similar, you know, uh, all, all friends who love the same noisy rock music. I think we were probably, uh, uh, you know, in, inspired, but at the same time, repulsed by the Seattle grunge scene because yeah. all those bands, much as we liked them, we realized, you know, they all were similar and all, you know, essentially were just sort of taking, uh, just punking up the MC5 or the Stooges and, mm. and wearing Mac jackets. Mm. Um, we loved it, but, you know, we wanted to bring some pop sensibilities into noisy guitar rock yeah. that uh, didn't exist in Seattle, really, at the time. That's right, and the Mint Records catalogue, you look through it and you can see a real presence of, of pop sensibility and joy. Yeah, it's so interesting. Yeah, and, and you know, uh, it's, it's easy to make a racket, but it's hard to write a pop song. Yeah. And, uh, and as Superconductor progressed, yeah, the first, uh, first record 
Heavy with Puppy was, uh, was, you know, sloppy and noisy. And then the second record, Hit Songs for Girls, was much catchier. And the third, the third record, Bastard Song, was, you know, a full, uh, you know, a full on rock opera. Mm. That's, it's, it's a weird record. You know? it's, we, I haven't, I haven't listened to any of them in years. So what song to play? I don't know. Well, I could, I, I kind of, I wrote down a song I wanted to play, but it's hard to work out what, um, track it's, it is uh, on the, which, which album do you, which album do you have in there? And I'll pick one. Well, I have Bastard Song. Uh, um, either the Bastard Overture or Noble Indian, perhaps. Love her. What about Ryan no, no. the Big oh, Penis from um, Heavy Call with Solo. Puppy? Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody even laughed. Ex- ex- excuse me? What, what did you say, Sarah? What did you Nothing. Just, what did I'm Sarah not going to repeat it. She said, no. <laughs> <laughs> she said, <yes>. Again. <laughs> I was just thinking today what an awful word that is. Someone should change it. <laughs> <laughs> to what? <laughs> I don't know. Sounds like a song lyric in, in, in gestation. <laughs> and Superconductor were amazing to see live. Like they were. no one has ever done that. Just mm. this wall of noise and you know Nerdy nine guys. guys and a smoke machine and this long hair and banging heads. It was but really I thought, fun. Sarah, you did a similar thing too with Crevice. Yeah, we sort like, of at Keith's suggestion sort of started a, a female companion band but we weren't and we were the worst like they were actually good we were just really <laughs> bad the worst people would say we were the worst thing they'd ever seen <laughs> uh, the, uh, I, crevice were definitely their own band mm. you know and and they unfairly were compared to us because they were nine girls with guitars mm. making a racket but they had some brilliant tones and and Mm. You know, super, super. It's it's an unfair comparison, but you know why these two bands existed at the same time in yeah. the same city. It was we had a lot of fun and so close to Seattle. And you know, I mean, me growing up in Australia, I, I had no clue. I mean, Nirvana and Soundgarden was everywhere, but I didn't have a clue what was happening in Vancouver. So looking back historically, at the same time, this is really cool. And you can read all about it in the Mint Records book, the Oral History of Mint Records, uh, which has just come out. Caitlin Fontana. Uh, has released this book. Um, so we're talking. That was Keith just talking there, drummer from the Gay. He was a member of Superconductor. Sarah. I just want to add that Keith also has his own record label that's mm. been very successful, Scratch Records. Mm. When did you start that, Keith? I started the record label in 1991. Yeah, and mm. you've kept it going all this time and seen it through many changes in the music industry. Yeah, it's a, it's a labor of love. You put out records oh. that. Uh, you're into and um, hopefully don't lose money on any of them and then some of them will do really well and and that way you know you, you don't worry if they don't do so well and you, you sleep well at night so yeah no running the label has been a wonderful joy well um, uh, we're going to play a couple of tracks now we're going to play a, a superconductor truck <coughs> that Keith is on and then a track from Sarah's project Vancouver Nights and then we'll be right back to talk some more uh, so 604 uh, to donate to CITR because this is wonderful, this is history uh, this radio station creates history and I'm sure Keith you've been here in the past all of you, all of you three have been walked through these doors countless yeah. times had beer in the beer machine you know. every Monday night from 1987 to 1991 from midnight to 4am I did a show wow. here yeah. that's it <laughs> and would bike up here with 50 pounds worth of records on my back and yeah you know, bike well, home and then open the store at uh, ten thirty in the morning. I'm a UBC yeah. student and a member here, and it's been just a really fun experience and yeah. a great place to hang out and yeah. have lunch and get experience and learn yeah. how to use the gear. That's it. Um, yeah, so it's a great place to be. So you can call through. Um, don't forget those books. At, if you donate twenty dollars, you get these two fun, interesting books. Let's face it, nobody wants the, the feminist essays one. <laughs> they want the other book. They want the other book. <laughs> including myself. This, there was a big pile of books here for giveaways, and I jumped on these two. It just seemed right. The Astrology of Great Gay Sex, The Ultimate Guide to Finding Mr. Right and Avoiding Mr. Wrong, along with British Columbia Reconsidered Essays on Women. Um, Oh, someone oh. Phil Saunders. Oh. Oh. Ah. Phil, Phil got the books. Dirty Phil. Dirty Phil. The books to him. Like, 
Oh, great. We'll, 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 we'll get them to fill. Got the books. Yep. Don't worry, Phil. You'll get your books. Okay, the books are gone, folks. So I'm gonna. Get but Zev there. still hates you. <laughs> he really wanted the feminist essay. It's fun. Okay. I think he wants a great gay <laughs> sex book, right, Phil? <laughs> We're talking with the gay here in the studio, uh, so we're going to play a superconductor track. Um, but so now we have vinyl, so the books are gone, they're off the table, I'm flinging them <coughs> across the room. And uh, uh, Van Cougar and the Pack AD are two uh, more uh, contemporary acts on the mint label. And if you and they're all chicks. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, uh, $40 or more, you, I'm going to give you these two brand new vinyls that are still wrapped up. Uh, Forty dollars or more if you donate. Six zero four eight double two eight six four eight. Keith, what superconductor track are we playing? Uh, okay, so we're back here on Stranded, the Australian Canadian Music Show, broadcasting live on um, CITR one hundred one point nine. You could be listening anywhere in the world, and you can donate online as well. If you go to CITR.ca, you can donate to the fund drive. Um, that's what we're here to do, and to talk to the gay. So um, CITR, what a wonderful place. Um, uh, CITR provides unique music news, music news and arts programming that you won't hear anywhere else. Where else would you have this collection of amazing people and this spontaneity and, and great music? Um, we provide live coverage for sports as well. Uh, the 24 Hours of Thunderbird Radio Hell um, is a, a long-standing show, live music. Uh, live interviews, in-studio guests. Um, Sarah here, is a, she's a regular contributor to the Arts Report. Um, so keep quality independent radio on the air, 604-822-8648. Uh, you can donate. And I've got an extra gift because um, we're talking about Mint Records. Uh, the Pack AD and Van Cougar are two female uh, bands, um, contemporary acts in, in Mint's catalogue. Uh, if you donate uh, $40, I'll give you these two albums. They're uh, vacuum-sealed vinyl. Um, I've seen the Pack AD, awesome garage band, um, so yeah, six zero four eight double two eight six four eight forty dollars or more gets you these two vinyl LPs from Mint. Um, and just a quick segue, just before we get back, um, just a public service announcement. Uh, there's a missing person, actually a local musician named Randy Ponzio. Uh, it's up here on the Vancouver Police Department website. It's that serious. He's thirty five years old. He hasn't been seen for a while, and he's much much loved in the community. So if you've seen Randy. Randy Ponzio, please contact the police. Uh, he's Hispanic, five foot ten, 190 pounds, and dark hair and, and a beard. Um, a local musician, so he's definitely well known. Um, okay, so uh, we only have about eight minutes left, so um, let's get back into the. Uh, well, let's talk about the gay. Thanks so much, Sarah. That was your track we just heard. Uh, Sarah's uh, solo project called Vancouver Nights. And it was called Two Spirited, and before that was Keith Keith's project Superconductor um, from the mid nineties. Uh, so just before we get back to the gay, the choir practice, Coco, was an offshoot or yes, a completely separate um, band, I guess. Yeah, it was a separate band, but uh, Keith briefly was in the choir practice, and um, really, honestly, that band just came out of a need. I I wanted to do something really acoustic and um, really choral. And um, I, ha I didn't really have like a strong concept. I just wanted something that a lot of people could get together and have a fun time and not be very serious about. Mm. And it happened really organically, and uh, we made a pretty good record. So yeah, we had some great shows. And and it's it's funny you say to some keep it lighthearted because. I mean, you work in the downtown east side with the Portland Hotel Society. Yes, yeah. Um, and coincidentally, a lot of a lot of my colleagues and co-workers were in the choir. I noticed that, yeah. yeah. Shira, Shira here, um, uh, Scotty <laughs> of Scar T. He's yeah. a colleague of mine. I work at I work for PHS. And, yes, yeah. And I know what it's like to sometimes take it too seriously. And uh, honestly, when lighthearted, fun, poppy music like this, it's great for my spirits. I mean, so yeah, you, we had a lot gift. of fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, that's the Portland Hotel Society that Coco uh, works for, and um, a lot of great uh, local musicians uh, as well are in that. And so the choir practice was a... When, when was that historic? 2007? Yes, yeah. Yeah, on Mint Records. Uh, so don't forget, uh, Mint Records, uh, they currently have uh, 130 releases, and uh, if you donate $40 or more, I'll give you two LPs here, brand new, 
180 gram black vinyl gatefold with digital download, the Pack AD We Kill Computers, and the Vancouver album Canadian Tuxedo. $40 or more, 604-822-8648. And we're going to be playing the choir practice uh, track. Actually, you know what, let's, let's, we'll, we'll, we'll go out on the music because maybe we should just keep talking. We've only got a few minutes left. So, um, the gay, like you, uh, I mean, the reason you've come here, the reason you three people are here um, is that next Friday is the Mint Records 20th anniversary. It's our much anticipated reunion show, yeah. actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which we've invited other Mint bands to join uh, us in. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Uh, so, so Sarah, the twenty, mentor twenty, yeah. Apparently, oh. they're fresh at twenty, mm. huh? somewhat fresh. <laughs> they're minty, fresh, they're minty. minty at twenty. We've actually got two of our um, manmates flying in from Toronto to join us, which is yeah. pretty exciting. The, Ma the Maya girls, and, uh, Maya and Toby, Maya, and Maya Toby. Martin and Toby Black, will be flying in the night before. <clears throat> And if you're curious about the, uh, the sordid, uh, tumultuous history of, of the gay, you can read all about it in Fresh and Twenty, uh, Caitlin Fontana's new book, The Oral History of Mint Records. So, um, yeah, great read. Uh, guys, just, is there anything in here that you wanted to get out into the world that wasn't documented any? We need our own book. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <You know. laughs> <Sounds like. laughs> Or not. <laughs> or not. <laughs> well, uh, no one needs our yeah, own book. no one but, needs our uh, book, actually. <laughs> uh, well, there um, might have been some uh, bare asses on mixing boards, but I'm not going to say whose. <laughs> one, one of the three. You people. just did. <laughs> <laughs> it was a joy to be in that band.